Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Wii U Pro Controller, the you know the game regular looking controller, to your Linux machine so you can use the RPCS3 emulator to play PlayStation 3 games. So let me show you the controller right now. This is the one I mean, so you know if this isn't the one you want to connect, just go away from the video. Obviously, if you want to keep watching, feel free to, but if you want to connect some other controller, I've probably got a video covering it. Well, let me know and I'll you know try and create something to connect it's really simple it's Bluetooth only though there is a wired you know port here it is not for data it is only for charging so therefore you're stuck with Bluetooth and okay so let's connect it so first of all go to the Bluetooth settings of your you know, Linux machine it could be different depending on the distro or the version but wherever it is go there next what you want to do Turn it over. See this red button here? It says sync. That's the sync button. When we press it, this will start flashing. So let me so if I press that. Probably heard it started flashing. It's appeared here. It may appear straight away. It may take a you know a few seconds, but just click it and it's assigned it to you know controller one. So we can close this down and now launch up RPCS3. I already had it launched up, but feel free to launch it up. Go to pads and in here, you've probably got keyboard selected here, but what you want is EV dev, click refresh or it should automatically be there. So there's a couple of things that we need to do and that is to map the controls. So first of all, I want to show you something called the profile section and what you can do here, create a profile, name it, and you can have different mappings for different games. And now let's get actually onto mapping the controls. So it's the triangle, which is going to be X. Most of them by default are actually all right. So some of them aren't. Ignore the fact that this says A and this has recognized it as B. You know, it's just the way the input has recognized it, but as long as it's recognized it when we press the key, that's all that matters. Now let's do the analog stick moving up. So as you can see, this was all wrong. And now if you look down here, we can correctly move it. Whereas this is wrong, if I try and move this, it doesn't move it. Whereas if I'm moving this, it's also moving, partly moving this. But we'll fix that in a second. Now let's do R1 and R2. So press that, R1, R2. Let's do start for plus. Again, like I said, most of it is already mapped correctly. Let's do the home button. There we go. And now R1, L2. Now let's do the D-pad. Up, left, right, and down. Now let's do the analog stick. So up, left, right, and down. Now let's confirm it's working in here. So if I move this up, move it up, left, right, down, yep, up, left, right, down. So that's great. And pressing the triggers will trigger the trigger thresholds. Because it's a physical button, it goes to max straight away. Let's make sure the thumbsticks are correct as well. If I click that, click it in, it is all correct. But let's just confirm with the final one as well. So there we go. You can also enable and disable vibration if you want to. Also, one thing I want to mention is obviously your screen won't look exactly like this. It will look a little, you know, a little more compact. You'll be able to see, you know, different controllers at the top. So feel free to select them and map here for any controller. Maybe you'll use a PS3 controller for player one, PS4 controller for player two, Xbox One controller for player three, Wii U controller maybe for player four. And make sure you click save. Do not click close or the X button that is up there because it will not save it. So click save and we're good to go. So let me just launch up Minecraft and let me show you it working. So X is working, you know, the PlayStation X, not the controllers X. And let's get into a game. Quickly show you it's working. There's nothing like, you know, having a camera with a light on to see, you know, all the little you know, bits of dirt and, you know, smudges on there. So I'm looking at the controller just directly now, and it doesn't look too bad, but on the, on the camera, whoa, it looks terrible. 
I don't see. I don't even use this controller that much. Okay, so let's go. We can run. We can look left and right. Now we can do some mining. Place a block. There we go. And that's it. That is everything you need to do to hook up a Wii U Pro controller to your Linux machine. Let me turn down the volume a bit. Not all the way because this is good music. To your Linux machine to use the RPCS3 emulator, which is a PlayStation 3 emulator. And that's it. It's called the game. So if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.